Hi there. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a great little hotel in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The Ramada Airport Cruise Port Hotel. Nice little place, two-story motel. It's like a courtyard in the center. Tropical swimming pool. Nice place. Cruise port shuttle and airport shuttle will be included with your room fee. Have a look and see where you can stay when you visit Fort Lauderdale, Florida. There, today we're going to have a look at the Fort Lauderdale Ramada Inn Airport Cruise Port Hotel. Nice place to stay. It's not a huge luxury place. It is reasonably priced. You can save some money with AAA CAA discounts or with uh, your Wyndham points. You can save some money there too. You don't have to have all your points to get a free room. You just have to have a few. Beautiful, beautiful tiki bar with tropical courtyard. Uh, In-ground pool. Not heated though, unfortunately. be really nice if it was. Even though we were there for that that afternoon and the next morning was like 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, food, like you'll see here, hamburger was good. Hawaiian hamburger I had in it. Was, it was really good. Unfortunately, you know, they made it with a frozen hamburger patty. And uh, I know that's not it yet, but you're going to see it coming up there in a second. Um, food was good, though. Uh, decent for, for what you're, for the type of place you're in. Fries were good, and the toppings in the hamburger were fantastic. Here we are, Ramada Airport Cruise Port in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It picks up at the airport by the hotel, and we got our room. wasn't ready when we got here. We were here, well, well before check-in. But uh, let's have a look here. Generally, and let's see here. King size bed, TV, cabinet, probably a fridge in there. <coughs> Microwave. Where's your fridge? Mm -hmm. Tropical pictures too, right? And we're in Florida. Let's see, there's a little dark back here on the light switch. Just walked into the room. Haven't had an opportunity yet to... There we go, there's lights. Place to hang your shirt. Iron, ironing board. Where did that go? There it is. Look at that. Go to the casino and get a place there to put your winnings. And lo and behold, a toilet. Let's have a look here. I think that looks pretty clean, don't you? I mean, I got this room, I think, at a, a pretty decent price. Use some wind hand points towards it. And uh, we got it for less than a hundred dollars for the night. That includes your shuttle coming to the airport, cruise port. Okay. And that would be the room. As I was saying, we did arrive at this hotel in the morning, uh, just before the noon hour, and they were great. They let us store our luggage they put it away in a room, gave us a ticket for it with a number so we could claim it later once our room was ready. Uh, that was a nice feature. Uh, it was nice of them. Uh, it's nice that they can do that. And um, we did get in our room earlier, actually, uh, before, before the regular check-in. Here, uh, I'm going to show you around. Red Chili's is the restaurant and bar in the lobby. Um, we had dinner there that night and... It um, it's it's pretty decent food. I um, it looks nice. Uh, the menu is pretty extensive, and uh, 
that is, you'll see what it is in the following picture there. It, um, it was something different. I've never had it before. Well, rice, yes, but anyway, breakfast next morning. There it is, breakfast buffet. That is included in your room fee. Other meals are not, drinks are not, but you know, and breakfast you have your coffee, your tea, juice, uh, as you can see here, waffles, cereals, egg, scrambled eggs, sausages, all that sort of regular fare. Pretty good stuff. They do take your room number when you go in, and um, you know, I guess they're trying to make sure that neighbors aren't coming in and eating for free. It does open fairly early. I, if I remember correctly, it was something like 6 a.m. that it opens up. And uh, there were people just coming in, getting coffee, and taking it back to the room, or just going outside and sitting by the pool, because it was a very warm morning, which was uh, um, nice compared to the last time we stayed there, which was a couple of years ago. Um, this is the, well, there's the computer terminals, you can, you know, if you have to book your flight or anything like that. A lounge area, you can sit and relax. There's a pool table, that's the bar. It wasn't open at that particular time I did the filming, because it was was morning. The um, this is all connected to the where the front entrance area. When you go in there, you can when you walk in the main door, the front door of the hotel. That is to your right is the check-in counter. To your left is a sitting area, and you also book your transportation there. So when you arrive, you get your room go turn left go over to the people at the other desk and you book your transportation to the cruise port right there if you're early like we were you get a good choice a decent um, choice of times that you can leave if you're a late arrival like we were the very first time we stayed there you get what you get They also have uh, meeting rooms up on the second floor of this hotel, a uh, banquet room type of uh, affair. Now they have their own Ramada shuttle bus. Yeah. They also use a contractor, and that was the confusing part when we were at the airport. I would advise that when you call them for your shuttle ride, stay inside the airport building, the terminal, make your call there because outside it is really noisy with the jets. Uh, taking off and landing and buses and trucks and cars going by it's very hard to hear them and i couldn't make out the, the name they gave me for the bus that was coming so that was very confusing for for us and uh you know you, you would expect to look for a ramada bus and it wasn't I, I just wish i could remember that name of that company but here we go out by the pool beautiful tropical gardens you would enjoy this a very nice relaxing area to sit Tiki bar is right there. You can have your lunch right there. They do keep nice. This is actually here. Uh, they do keep a nice uh, grounds there. That picture, previous picture, was the uh, crowd waiting to princess. hop on. Crown princess. Crown princess. Okay. When we reach the terminal, you're going to stay in the bus. I'm going to put all luggage on the ground. And when I finish, you can get up. You need a tag, you don't have a cruise tag or um, luggage tag, you have to talk with the porter. That guy has cruise tag, staple, whatever that you need, okay? Everybody understood? Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Navarro. <laughs> So show your appreciation to the driver for his great service and taking you there to the cruise port. Give him a, give him a tip. Don't be shy. Now, we did take a little walk outside of the hotel property to the side street to the hotel across the street. That is a uh, trip by Windham. And uh, it's pretty much updated more than the Ramada is. However... It's a, quite a bit more expensive. You have to pay for your breakfast. It's not included. And I believe you do have to pay for your shuttle to the cruise port also. Um, doesn't look like a very comfortable place. It looks nice, clean, modern, updated. But uh, 
if you're into the IKEA stuff, I guess. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you get a chance to visit the Ramada Airport Cruise Port Hotel in Fort Lauderdale. It's a good place to stay. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your comments and your opinions on this video and all my videos. If you want to see more great videos, just subscribe and help get me out of this damn cold and snow, will you? Whoa! That's great!